Hey guys, welcome back to Salem Cellar. So today we're going to be watching a trailer for a movie called The Pod Generation. It's starring Amelia Clark. I'm excited. Let's give this a watch. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm assuming it's like a sci-fi film, but let's find out. Imagine you just go to the store and just buy just baby dreams. different prices. Rachel, dreams are not reliable analytical material. That's so 20th century. Hi, Rachel. We're delighted to let you know that we're very near the future. We got a spot at the Womb Center. Oh, <laughs> but I haven't told Alvi yet. Oh, oh, why, Rachel? He wants a natural child. But hold on, you put us on a wait list to have a baby and an egg. No, it's not an egg. It's, Interesting. It's an egg. I, I don't know how I feel about that. Women are reluctant to have children because it's not made convenient. We want them to pursue their careers and dreams. We can't live in the past. I want to have a child with you. Let's do it, Rachel. Really? Yeah. I'm sure you're all very How excited. How do I feel about that? Parents are raving about it. It is the ultra solution. <laughs> My nephew was born at the womb center, but he doesn't dream. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> don't worry. That's okay. I can't, I can't do it with the pot in here. What are you talking about? It can't see us. I feel Alvi is able to bond with Interesting. a child, but I'm not. Maybe I'm just not ready to be a mother. You know, no one's a mother just like that. You become one. Lately, I've been holding on to something. We are considering having a home birth. I'm sorry, it's not possible. I won't raise this child without nature. Congratulations. Oh, so exciting, isn't it? I noticed a change in productivity. You do have a baby at the womb center, right? Why? What's that? Things are evolving. Your family dynamics are about to undergo tremendous changes. How can we make sure our baby's not Oh, it's bored bigger. Anymore? Oh yeah, we don't want any bored babies. All right. August 11th. That's pretty interesting, seeing it like start really small and then bigger. You know, when we are pregnant, it happens inside of us and yeah, we go to ultrasounds. But it's kind of cool to think about seeing it actually happen on the outside. I don't know how I feel about that. That was a little, that was a little sweeter than I pictured. I thought it was going to turn dark and evil. You know, like these babies are evil or this corporation's evil. But it didn't feel like that's where it was going. It was a lot sweeter and lighter than I imagined. Um, but it did look interesting. I'm very curious if she gets pregnant, like while having the pod baby and they have like two babies now. I kind of felt like that was what was going to happen, but you know, just speculating. And it didn't look bad at all. Not what I was expecting, um, especially after like the first minute I thought it was going to have a dark little turn. Um, near future, oof, I don't see that being the near future. I don't know how I feel about that though. Um, I hated being pregnant. I hated it. Um, but as soon as I was not, cause I was sick the entire time, but as soon as I was not pregnant anymore, I missed it and I wanted to be pregnant again. But then I was pregnant again and then I was sick. Um, yeah, so some people just don't get sick at all and have like a really great pregnancy. And I just had a really horrible pregnancy. Like both of them were just so sick. Um, so yeah, it'd be nice maybe just to not go through all those symptoms, but then you have like that bonding period. So it's kind of like, oh, uh. um, so I don't know how I feel about the whole pods, you know, I just, it'd be nice for women, for women who can't have children, a nice little option for couples who can't have children. 
Um, but yeah, very definitely a conversation inspiring movie. I, I enjoyed it. So yeah, this is film seller approved. I'm not going to run to theaters to watch this, but I will eventually watch it when it's streaming somewhere. I think it's at select theaters. If I was, um, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's that at the end. But it's a movie that I'll wait and I'll watch at home eventually. I'm not going to not gonna go to the theaters for it's lately it's like superheroes or horror it's like you get to me get to the theater and that's about it but i did like it comment down below let me know what you guys thought of this thank you so much for watching this with me i will be right back